Money makes the world go round, but you are feeling like your world has come to stand still. If you are not sure what to do with your money, you may need an investment advisor. Before hiring someone, ask yourself these questions. When should I ask for help? If you are in constant fear that you are doing the wrong thing with your money, it's probably best that you seek advice from a professional. Unless you have a strong understanding of investing, you should seek professional help. What's the difference between an investment advisor and a financial planner? A financial planner is usually also an investment advisor, but not the other way around. A financial planner looks over every aspect of your monetary life, which includes your trades, but also your retirement, taxes, savings, and estate planning. If you are just looking for someone to help you build a portfolio, you probably don't need a financial planner. How do I find one? Ask for referrals. Before you ask your friends, family, or co-workers for a recommendation, think about how qualified they are to recommend someone. A CPA or lawyer are better people to ask for recommendations, but not if either has a monetarily motivated agreement with a bank or company. Perhaps, once you've found a few names on your own, you may ask for references and contact former or current clients to learn about their experiences. Ask questions. After you find someone you may want to work with, ask them what experience they have with people in similar financial situations. Find out where they went to school and where they've worked. Ask them what licenses they hold, whether they've been disciplined by a government regulator, and if they've ever been sued. You can ask for their Form ADV, which is a form they must file with either the SEC or their state's securities agency. Part 1 of the form gives information on whether or not they've run into problems with regulators or clients. Work out a payment agreement. Advisors accept compensation in several different ways. They can be paid a commission for each transaction, charge a fee based on the amount of money they're handling, or they can be paid by the hour. You should choose one of these methods based on your mutual needs. If you aren't going to make many trades, then you may want to go with someone who will charge per transaction. All in all, you want to find an investment advisor who makes you feel comfortable. After all we are talking about your current and future comfort.